Here she is, just washing the clothes, just her and Andrew, so it shouldn't take very long. And guess what? We got first place. Yes. Oh, and here we are. We're just going to say, you know, goodbye to Roger, mourning him. Oh, Ooh, this one do be acting crazy in here. Okay. Did little Archibald make it into toddlerhood? No, four, eight, or 12. Here we go. Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. So, it is currently Saturday. It is the second quarter of 1368. Let me take you over to the spreadsheet and show you guys what's going to be happening here. So we are here currently on Saturday. I have lied to you all. I have lied. It is the first quarter of 1368. So tomorrow is Sunday. It'll be the second quarter then. And it'll be Archibald's birthday. So... We'll be popping over there and seeing if he's going to be making it into toddlerhood. Hopefully he will make it. And then we have Ellen, Mabel and Frank's daughter, is aging up into a child. Then Tuesday is Julia's birthday. So it will be, that is Mabel and Frank's daughter. So we'll have a couple makeovers to give there. And then on Wednesday... It is the first quarter of 1369. It is also Colette's birthday. So we'll see if she's going to be making it into childhood. But we have way over here the second part of the 100 year war starting. So we'll see who all makes it. But first we have to get through everything else. So in the last episode... Roger did sadly pass away and we do have his tombstone. So I'm hoping today we will take it over to the church for Saturday. We're going to spend here in this family. I do think Latisse is pregnant. We haven't got the notification, but she did get sick at the very end of the last episode. So we'll, we'll have to see if she is pregnant. I also want to go to the church and put Roger's tombstone down. And I also want to do a competition with Freya here, who is currently sad from a loved one passing away, witnessing the death of a friend. And then tomorrow is Sunday, and it'll be Archibald's birthday, so we'll, we'll pop over there and spend the time over there and see if he's going to be making it or not into toddlerhood. So I'm going to let them get their rest, and then we'll be going about our day. And Andrew is up, and he is going to get himself taken care of here and have himself a nice bath. Latisse is going to get up here and make some uh, food. I think this is still good, actually. We're going to go ahead and grab some of this. It's got two hours left on it, so we might as well go ahead and eat that. And then I'm going to have her come over here and she can feed this goat and clean and we'll see if we can't get some more milk out of him and he's going to go clean up the manure apparently we're gonna grab a serving of that real quick before we do that i'm gonna have andrew come over here and help latisse out and he's gonna clean this coop and scatter the feed and collect the eggs we have this goat i think he followed us i think this is actually edric's goat i don't think we can feed oh is he here because of the grass we cannot shear him or anything, so I don't know. And she got six bottles of milk. All right, she needs to come in here now and use this. I'm going to have Andrew over here clean the shed. And then I'm going to send him out. It is 9 in the morning. It looks a lot darker than 9 in the morning. I'm going to have him go get some sea salt. He can go collect some sea salt, and then he's going to have to go hunting. We don't have any meat, yo. So <laughs> we need to go get some. And yo, she took a bath. She took a bath and her hygiene literally didn't go anywhere. Now it's going. All right. And then I'm going to have her go ahead and do this laundry. Oh, we don't have any flowers. We don't have any flowers. It's like starting all over again. She is going to go pick some flowers. We'll just go by ourselves. She was on her way out and she is pregnant. She's eating for two. You can't tell with the teens. Yo, you can't. It stopped her from going out uh so we need to go 
collect some flowers. Okay, she has come back and oh, she not feeling very well. And she's gonna go talk with Clifton, apparently he is here. She is gonna actually add some flowers and she's gonna do this laundry real quick. And Andrew has come back. What did we get? Did we get, oh yay, we got a small rabbit. I'm gonna have him cut this up and then we got a chicken and we got a pigeon very nice and freya needs to be cleaned so we can pick up this we'll put this on us she needs some help yo i am gonna have him go ahead and take care oh wrong one <laughs> wrong sam she is going to chat with her um i'm gonna have andrew go ahead and we gonna brush her coat and clean her hooves and you know what? We'll go ahead and give her hand feed some of this prairie grass to her. Here she is, just washing the clothes. Just her and Andrew, so it shouldn't take very long. Shouldn't be very much. How is it 3 o'clock in the afternoon already? Seriously, how is it 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Oh my gosh, they're pristine and soaked. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go to this competition, y'all. And yay, they ended up being pristine and soaked. There we go. All right, I'm gonna have Andrew and Freya are gonna go for competition. Still winter here in Tomerang, so we are gonna go ahead and enter competition. All right, so we can enter the intermediate we've placed. I guess we don't have enough money. Oh, we don't have enough money to do the experts? Is that so? Oh, we need money. We do have these uh, fertilizers here. So let me just go ahead and sell this. Oh, it's only 180 smolions. We have poor quote poop and we have this. Can we sell? Oh, that's a little bit. There's a little bit. You know what? I Since we are so bad, I know we're losing a lot of money, but we are so bad at selling. I'm just going to go ahead and sell. We're just gonna go ahead and sell it because we need the money and we'll make more money if we win this competition. Now we should be able to enter expert. Okay, so expert, they want you to have a seven agility. We have five. Ooh, we're close in this. So we could possibly place in this. So we've got done the master of that. Okay, we're gonna try the jumping. We're gonna go for the show jumping, all right? Oh, she not doing well. This horse is in a negative mood, which slightly reduces the chances of winning. <gasps> Why is she in a negative mood? Wait, I gotta find out. Wait a minute, why are we in a negative mood? Oh, she wants to have fun. Maybe if we talk to her, will that help real quick? Before, we've got a little bit of time. Maybe if we tell her a joke. Come on, Andrew, we really need this. We really need. Get this horse in a better mood. She's not doing it so well here. Oh, that did something. That did something. All right. Oh, hey, her mood's better now. Quick. Her mood is better. All right, now enter this competition. All right, we're gonna come over here to jumping. Okay, yay, it worked, it worked. All right, we're gonna go ahead and enter. It's 500, and there they go, they're off. Don't mind the modernness of this world, but they're off to compete. Look at Freya, she's like, yes, this is what I've been wanting. And they have entered, and guess what? We got first place, yes! And that means we can now participate in Master. We got 1,500 smolions, yay! Now we can go home. All right, so we're here at the church. I thought, since we're on our way home, why don't we just stop at the church and put down this tombstone of Rogers, all right? So we are gonna put this down. I'm gonna put him right here. Yes, I do need to like redo this. Well, you know, oh, we can sell this. We're not doing anything with those because, you know, they wouldn't have those probably. But we'll sell them for a little bit of money. All right, we're going to come over here and we are going to mourn Roger. And here they go. Oh, Edric, he's so sad. Why are you going in there? Don't you want to come mourn your baby, your child? Who is this? Parnell. Parnell, I don't remember. Okay, she must have came on her own. We did not bring her. Oh, and here we are. We're just going to say... You know, goodbye to Roger, mourning him, aww. And I think, what, she's tending bar? Is she tending the bar? We're gonna come over here. We're gonna let her know that we are pregnant. Oh, you know, I don't think, did she share the big news with her husband? I'm not even sure. Friendship is magic. And he did get a beautiful view. The forest is so peaceful. And I don't think that she told him about the baby, yo. I don't think she did. We'll have to do that. And who is this? Oh, little Samuel Atwood is here. Oh, here comes Edric. 
Aw, Edric, there he goes. He's just gonna pay respects to a... Who is he paying? Is that his daughter? Oh, it's his daughter. Fe Freya is feeling a bit bored. Okay. And guess what? She likes discussing hobbies. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. And she's just like, hey, mother-in-law, guess what? I am expecting a little one. Our first little baby on the way. Okay. And now we're going to go home. Oh, and she do have to go to the bathroom. And I guess the family is following. Okay. And he is very hungry. Oh, he is very hungry. So... I'm gonna have him come over here, and he is, while she's using the bathroom, he's gonna make some sea salt. Margaret's checking out everything. <laughs> she's going around checking out. She's like, yeah, this is a pretty nice house. I'm glad for you. I'm happy for you, Andrew. You're doing real well. What did he just make? Oh, it's sea salt. You can resume that, yo. He is bound and determined to clean up the poop outside and here mom is just cleaning for us isn't that nice oh this one do be acting crazy in here okay we're gonna come over here and share the big news he got the salt done and then he is gonna make some salted meat we have low quality did we not oh it's rabbit meat ah not low quality red meat dang it all right she's like guess what honey we're gonna have a baby. He's like, oh, okay. All right. I wonder how he took that. Oh, er he is ecstatic after hearing about a new family member. Yay, he's so happy. And we are gonna share the big news. We're gonna share it with our father-in-law. She's like, guess what, father-in-law? I'm pregnant. He's like, oh, okay. And Margaret's just going around cleaning everything. And let's see if we can't come in here and make some more bread. We need flour still, yo. I do not have the flour, the mill in here yet. I'm gonna have her just come over here and uh, she's just gonna make something. We are going to make nothing out of there. Nothing out of there. Nothing out of there. The only thing we can make is this chunky vegetable stew. And I think this makes a whole lot. It takes 16 vegetables, so it makes way too much for us. So we're just gonna make a family size. We're living on onion soup these days. <laughs> They're living on the onion soup. And here they are out here chatting a bit. And Beatrix is here, I guess. Beatrix has come over. We need to have Freya go put away. And there she's got it done so they can come get something to eat. And Margaret just be helping herself. We got mom. She's cooking for her. Oh, they're in unison. Look at that. I wonder what she's thinking of Latisse's cooking. And here they are just sitting down to a nice meal. These folks here. Oh, I love this so much. Here comes Edric. Is he going to grab some too now? Is he? Oh, he's cleaning. He's just going around cleaning everything. And she'd be flirting with Andrew right in front of him. Margaret. Oh boy. I'm wondering how their compatibility, can their compatibility change? Is it still bad? It's bad. Yeah. All right. I should really get going now. All right. They're saying goodbye. It is time for them to go. And it is 1130 anyway. So they're going to go off to bed. They do be tired. All right. It is currently Sunday. It is the second quarter of 1368. So we're going to pop over. We're going to go over to Margaret and Edric's house because we got a little boy to see about aging up. If he's going to be aging up or not. All right. So it is very early. I imagine these folks are either a great or a mess. <laughs> so Edric is doing really well. He's currently holding little Archibald, who is the one that's going to be aging up here. Uh, let's just double check. He has got zero days and he is hungry. She needs to feed him. So he's going to pass Archibald off to... Margaret here. Hand Archibald to Margaret. She's going to feed him. I don't know that they have any food. Oh, they do. He can come grab some of that. She can come grab some of that. And there he goes. And now she can go ahead and feed him. And I'm going to have him come in here and get something to eat as well. I was just checking to see Hugh. He's got a while. He's got 13 days before he ages up. But Colette does have only two days to age up. So, yeah, we got a lot of things coming down the line here. Not only the war, but all these children aging up and having babies. Super efficient infant care. I didn't know that was a thing. She can do super efficient infant care. And here, Margaret is. No, don't you bottle feed that baby. Wait, why are you going to give that baby a bottle? That's not super infant. Inf that is it? Super infant? Wait. Oh, my gosh. 
She totally gave that baby bottle. Okay. Okay, she gonna come. She needs to take care of herself. I'm gonna have her go ahead and put Archibald to sleep there for a minute. And then she's gonna need to get herself all taken care of here. Oh, and we're all out of food. She's gonna need to make some more. I don't know if they can make any more. We can make some cheese, so I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna have Edric. Is he going off to work? He goes to work in nine hours. So I'm gonna have him come over here and craft something at the smithing station. He does need to use the pot beforehand, so you go ahead and use that. And then he is going to resume the steel axe. I guess he never finished. And here he is, just talking to his little girl, Colette. She's just talking up a storm with him. And this one is over here eating his meal. I wonder if he's still bugged out. Uh, no, he actually is he's eating. He's eating and using his diaper at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna have him go have a little nap. Okay, she got this cheese done. So let's see what else we can make some bread. All right, before we do anything else, before we go any further, it is that time to see if little Archibald, who is currently sleeping, is gonna be living into toddlerhood. So for little Archibald, he is currently an infant. So he's going into toddlerhood. We do not want a four, eight, or 12. We're gonna be rolling a 20-sided dice. So did little Archibald make it into toddlerhood? No four, eight, or 12, here we go. And he did, he barely survived y'all. He got a nine, we almost had an eight there. All right, so little Archibald has lived. So I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna let her finish making that and then she's gonna come over here and uh, age Archibald up. We're about to have three toddlers y'all. We are about to have three toddlers, oh my goodness. Oh, and little Colette has just come over and say, Mama, what you doing? I, I want some, I want some. He finished his ax. And she finished this bread. She is just gonna make some cheese and fruit. And then we'll come over here and we are going to go ahead and age him up. Happy birthday, Archibald. Here we go. What will he be? How's he gonna turn out? All right, so he was sensitive as an infant. I'm just gonna randomize this. And he got silly. He's a silly and sensitive little guy. All right. And there he is. All right. He's got braids. I mean, all right. We're going to pop into cats really quick and give this baby boy a makeover. All right. So here he is. Let's just take off that skin. This is little Archibald. All right. He's cute. All right. So here is little Archibald. So I decided to go with this hair. This is actually from the, again, the game. It's from... The, uh, is that the chef hustle, bustle, whatever thing? Yeah, that's where that's from. I was gonna give him this one. I thought he looked really cute in it. And then I thought about this one, which I thought he looked cute as well in it, but I just thought this was really cute on him. I just really, really like it for him. Here's all his outfits. I dressed him in this maroon color. I realized a lot. I didn't realize I was just going through. He just looks really nice in that color. And there we are. There is little Archibald. You know what? We actually need another toddler bed. So what I'm gonna do is I feel like I am gonna move them all upstairs into here, into this room. So I think what we'll do is we'll put this in our inventory cause we'll need it later, I am sure. And we'll get rid of this. We don't need this. So we'll just put it in, we'll need it later though, I'm sure. Under the window, I'm so mean. I'm gonna put my babies under a window, yo. You got it. So we'll put this right here and then we'll put the toddler toilet up here. We're gonna put this up here. We're gonna put it like so. I also will get another toddler toilet. I feel like we will need it. And then we can also pick this up and put it in our inventory. I mean, I am not planning on them having any more babies right now. If Edric doesn't go off to the war, we could maybe have more babies. Although, Margaret here, I don't, I think they're gonna be aging up into, we're gonna be doing end of life rules soon with them. So they might not have any more. We'll just see. We do need another toy. So I will just grab another one of these. We can put this back in here. Actually, we could put this back to here. Let's see how long we have. Margaret is on day 30 out of 40, y'all. And Edric, is on day 34. They could 
have more. I don't want to try now because I don't want to take up any more family slats in case Andrew goes off to war. I got to have room for Latisse and the baby. So we, we don't want to do that just yet. So they've got their hands full anyways with these three young ones. We have so many axes. Well, let's go ahead and put this in here. You know what? We're going to give one of these to Andrew, I think. Maybe we will give him some of our weapons. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. You know what? We're going to give him the sword. We will give Andrew... This bejeweled sword, it's worth a lot and they can sell it and have more money. There we go. Is it cheating? Maybe, slightly. All right, I'm gonna let him go back to have a nap and she is gonna come over here and grab herself something to eat. Colette is really tired. You know, I just realized, I don't think that Archibald will be able to come up here, but she can. She can come up here and have herself a bed and we'll have him come up here and have a sleep as well. And he's out here. This little guy's out here walking around by himself. What? And this one is already going to help himself to some food. He's got the movement skill. He's already helping himself to some food. Oh, he has a quirk revealed. He has a good appetite. I, I had a feeling because he's really not that hungry. And he came and got some food right away. I thought that boy's going to like food. He's going to have a good appetite. And sure enough, I was correct. And I don't know why my child is glitching out, but he is. All right. I think I'm going to have her get Andrew. We're going to get Andrew around. Actually, I'm afraid that he's going to be going off to work. Oh, he has five hours yet. We're going to ask Andrew and Latisse over here. And here comes Andrew. And I'm going to have Edric get up. He wants to harvest. I'm going to have him get up. And he's like so excited to see his mom, apparently. We're gonna call him over and we're gonna give him this sword before we have to go off to work. We're gonna go ahead and give him the residence keys. Oh, she got a little baby bump, y'all. She do have a little baby bump. Oh, my teens never show. We are gonna talk to her a little bit. We are going to ask to feel baby. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's patting. Oh, she's not feeling well, I don't think. She's got little Archibald, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to give a gift. Where is that sword at? Right here, bejeweled sword. And he's just like, hey, son, I wanted to give you something. I made it just for you as a wedding gift. It's a little late, but it's a sword. You'll love it. And he loved it, I think. And Roger's calling us. He's like, yes, I like it, Dad. Thanks. We're going to go ahead and also give him an axe as well. And he's like, here, we've got another gift right here for you. A steel axe. It's beautiful. And she's just like, hi, Latisse. How's it going? She's like, would you like to feel the baby? Oh, she did not like the feel baby. We're going to discuss what's redo around the kingdom. And we're going to try it again. I think that she tried to do it, but... I don't think that she liked it. I don't think Latisse wanted her to feel the baby. She's like, hi, Latisse, can I feel the baby, please? It's been so long since I had a baby. Could I not feel the baby? Oh, I don't think she's gonna let her. Oh, she's not. She does not want her to feel the baby. And instead, she's gonna scare her. Oh, no. And these bees are enraged, Joe. And could it be that Margaret likes pranks? What? Okay, we'll let her like it. She is tired, I guess. And these babies are all needing to Oh my God, they're all a mess. Yo, they're all a mess. I'm gonna have him give this little one a uh, bath. I mean, Margaret is going down for a nap and this one is, why are we sitting out here crying? Oh no, and he's gonna be strict. Would you say that Edric and Hugh have a strict family? Sure. I wish I could have Andrew come over here and take care of him, but I can't. We can't have him. Oh, what is this crossing out our face? What is this? And these two are just out here chatting in front of an, enra an enraged bee. Little Archibald came over to a Latisse. He's just like, hi, Auntie Latisse. How you doing? It'd be his sister-in-law, right? What an age gap right here. Oh, and he's going to go babble and ask for flashcards from Andrew. He has literally got it queued up. He is the spitting image of Andrew. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's comforting him. He's, oh, listen to Andrew's question. Oh, isn't this just the cutest thing he ever did see? Oh my gosh. And she's like, hey, I don't mean to interrupt you and your brother having a good time, but I gotta show you something this 
book. I'm actually gonna have her get up and come put him down for a nap. We will bring him up here. We'll put toddler to bed, Archibald. And he's gonna be going off to work here in just a couple of hours. Oh, he still has not crafted any. He's still got 50% yet. We're going to make a, you know what? Let's make, we're gonna make a golden mirror for our son, Andrew. Oh no, Archibald loves being carried, okay. And Edric is gonna be going off to work here in an hour. And she's just gonna put him to bed. And here he is, uh, working hard. Andrew's come to talk to him. He's like, hi, son. How's married life? How's it going? I hope everything's going good. He's like, of course, it's wonderful. We got a new baby on the way. He's like, have you heard the war is gonna be coming back? I hope neither one of us have to go. He's like, oh, me too, dad. Is there any way we can just skip through it? Maybe we could just hide out, not go. He's like, oh, you can't do that, Andrew. You can't take the easy way out. And I should really get going now. Andrew is off. <laughs> He's leaving. And she has got that one to bed. Andrew and Latisse have gone. The children are all in bed. This one is sleeping right here. I'm going to actually have her wake him up and put him to bed up here. And guess what? Hugh loves wake up time. All right. That's surprising. And he needs to go off to work, yo. You're late. Oh, no. He did get that done, so he's going to go off to work. And he is tired. He is so very tired, Edric is, but he is going off now to work. And they're playing. Okay, you know what? I told you to put him to bed. I did tell you to put Hugh to bed. I guess we didn't listen. And it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and she's going to take herself a little nap. And she has woke up flirty and thought, I gotta go clean the bathtub. This woman is a clean freak. And somebody, the ranch hand has put this. Uh, the ranch hand did get the clothes from the laundry. Okay, I'm gonna have her get those. And then she is going to add some flowers of Snapdragon and she's gonna do these laundries. And she got the laundry all done and hung up and she needs to come use this and get herself something to eat. Edric is gonna be coming home here in just a second and he did. We did not get a promotion. He is a one star celebrity. He did lose a celebrity level, then he gained it back. He did not get a promotion. Dang it, I was hoping for a promotion and he didn't get it and he's about to pass out. So he gonna straight go to bed. Well, he's gonna use the pot and then he's gonna go to bed. And I'm just gonna have her do the same. And Colette has woke up and is very, very hungry. She's gonna use the potty real quick and then he, she's gonna get herself something to eat. Oh, she's an independent little girl, this one. And she do be knitting. She do be knitting on the toilet. All right, there she is. You need to go to bed, yo. It is midnight and she's eating. Alrighty, okay. I'm gonna actually make her go back to bed. All right, you guys. So we are back over here with Andrew and Latisse. So she is on her way to the bathroom and I'm gonna throw this in here. So she is currently in her second trimester. She's gonna be in her third trimester in nine hours. So we're gonna be having a baby in the next episode. It is also currently Monday. It is the third quarter of 1368 and we got one day so this baby hopefully will be born and live before ed andrew goes off to war or seeing if andrew's gonna go off to war having two main families is it makes things move right it's Things are gonna happen quick. We got a lot of things to do. So Monday, we have really nothing going on too much, but Tuesday, Colette is gonna be aging up, so we gotta see if she's lived or died. Wednesday is the war, so we're gonna be seeing if Andrew and Edric are going off and whoever else is in this family that's male needs to go off. And the baby and Latisse to see if they're gonna live. They could die. We don't know. We got a lot of death rolls coming up. We have a potential for a lot of death, but we are gonna keep a positive mind and think the best, right? We're all gonna live. Andrew and Edric are not going off to war and we're gonna be able to continue hopping between the families, having a good old time and all that. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.